Hey guys, it's Vimeo91, and I'm talking about the Xbox Series X because the full specs have been revealed. Yes, the full spec. Here they are right here. Now, I'm not going to talk about all these specs, just the ones that I want to focus on. Number one, the G GPU. Yes, it is 12 teraflops, but I'm a little concerned that they didn't reveal how much RAM is in the GPU. 1.825 gigahertz is amazing for a GPU, but... I still don't see how much RAM is in that. The RAM in the GPU is very important. Now the CPU looks very promising with eight cores. Hopefully that's all physical cores and 3.8 gigahertz is a very fast CPU. In fact, this is looking like a gaming computer basically. So while this is looking really, really good, one spec on there I really don't like is that it's a one terabyte hard drive. Yes, it's an SSD, so it's a lot faster, but the problem is that that's not gonna give you a lot of space. I mean, Call of Duty Modern Warfare alone is getting close to the 200 gigabyte mark. I mean, that is a massive download and games are most likely only gonna get bigger. As they go to 4K gaming, like just pure 4K basically, they're gonna get a lot bigger in my opinion. So I don't think one terabyte internal storage is enough. Would I have preferred a two terabyte HDD? I don't know because SSD is significantly faster than HDD, but I still think one terabyte is way too little. I feel like next generation, most games are gonna be around hundred gigabytes or more at least the AAA ones. So I really feel like having a one terabyte hard drive is actually not gonna be very beneficial for the next generation. But other than that, these specs look great. It looks like basically a gaming computer and it looks like the next gen consoles, I'm assuming PS5 is gonna be similar, are gonna really blow people out the water. Now, here's the thing though, with all these specs, how are they gonna keep the price $500 and below? It's just amazing if they're able to do that. Like I said, I don't believe the next console will sell no matter how powerful they are if they're more than $500 because console owners aren't like PC owners. They're not willing to spend like $1,200 to make a custom PC. No, console owners are looking at price. A lot of them, yes, they know the power by looking at how the, well the graphics look on their TV or whatnot, but I find like a lot of console buyers probably don't look at all these details that we YouTubers are looking at. So I think that they need to be below 500, but how with all this to get below 500? I don't even know how they do that. In my mind, they're taking a huge loss if they sell it for $500 or below. But what do you guys think about the specs of the Xbox Series X? And are y'all like me, a little bit disappointed that it's only a terabyte of hard drive space? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.